Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, uh, Blood Donation API, right? Blood Donation mobile app, right? And I have developed this project in Android Studio. And uh, this is a core Android Studio. You can see uh, these are the Java classes, right? So all of the Java classes are there and I am using Android Studio, right? So the project title is Blood Donation App or Blood Bank App, right? And uh, for database side i have used mysql database for developing apis this is an api driven project means all of the data android is getting from the mysql database using api and all of the api we have developed in uh, php right and uh, there is admin panel also so there are two types of ui here one is the admin and second one is a uh, mobile app so mobile app is for the consumers means customers donors and patients and admin app is for the admin so admin can log in and admin can uh, see all of the registered donors and the registered patients and the contacts and donor can register from the mobile app patient can also register from the mobile app and uh, then uh, donor can post uh, their donations and then admin can sorry patient can search donations and then uh, contact to the donor so this is the overview of the project what we have developed right so for running this project you must have the android studio and the jam server for configuring the api so once you configure it right once you open this uh, app in android studio the gradle will sync and you will this now you will get this page right you can either use emulator but most of time emulator doesn't work then you can use your physical mobile devices for uh, running the app <laughs> right so currently i'm using mac and uh, the you can see emulator for running this project in emulator my uh, app is working fine right so once you run this application right just uh, uh, you can see uh, i'm re uh, running and this is running on the emulator so first of all it will uh, load the uh, splash form you can see the splash form was there and after that it will uh, show you the login page right on the login page there are two things uh, you can log in as a donor or as a patient right and after that uh, there is a sign up if you don't have the account just click on the sign up and you can register as a donor or a patient here you can select the donor or the patient right so uh, this is the uh, account registration page from here you can sign up right and after that you can log in right so i am going to log in as a, uh, a donor first so donor user id is donor uh donor at the gmail.com and the password is test so once you log inside the app then you will get this dashboard so you can see this is the donor app right here donor can push the donation list right so he can donate if he want to donate the blood then he can add the donation list he can see all of his previous donations and the future donations list he can see his profile and change password then in the add donation he will enter his phone number suppose i am entering anything uh, right and the uh, blood group anything you can select so for which blood group you want to donate he can also add the uh, details of other users here right the select city so select city and details i want to i want to donate blood right and then this one add right once you click on the add then it's saying that added successfully right and he can see all of the donation list right in in his donation list right you can see it's loading and it will show there are three uh, donation list he has submitted right so one two three and if we click on any other donation list right so there is no details please it's only the list right okay so this is the add donation my donation this is a my profile from where he will be able to see his profile and then the change password from here he can change his account password right and then uh, this is the navig navigation bar right here this is the home page this is the home screen this is the add donation my donations my profile contact us right he can enter any of the i want to inquiry about the donations 
message scam right he can submit right he can submit once he submit then it will be saved into the database and uh, admin can see that right okay so again this is a contact us this is a about project you can see this is the about of the project this is static there is nothing dynamic you can change the content here right and then the last one is a change password i already explained you and the logout right so this this was uh, only for the uh, donors right who want to donate his blood now if i log in as a patient right then in the patient uh, patient at the rate gmail.com and the password is test once you log in as a patient right then you will get these options search donors search nearby hospitals my profile and change password right once you click on the search donors you will be able to search the donors right so you can see this is the donor list right if you click on if you search different cities then you can search in different cities also right you can see his details also right you can contact him for the donations right once you click on then there's an option call or send message once you click on the send message then it will uh, normally uh, send a message uh, open a message and you can send him right open the message app and you can send it and once you click on the call it will option uh, call options right from here you can call miss from your mobile right so this is the uh, 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 donations sorry donor options this is a search nearby hospitals once you click on that it will show you nearby hospital so you can see the nearby hospital dhq hospital if you want to contact then search on the contact and you can call the hospital right you can add the hospitals in the database directly right this is a my profile again from here you can see your profile details right and then this is the change password uh, where from where you can change your password right and then there is another option here the nav bar and this nav bar will be different from the donor right here about us contact us and home will be there which i already explained you right so this is the mobile app and mobile app can be used by donor or the uh, patient right now if i coming on the admin app so this is the admin thing and this this is very basic admin application where uh, admin can see the number of donors and the patients right once you log in then you can see there are three donors and four patients and if you click on the donors you will be able to see all of the donors if you click on the patients you will be you will be able to see all of the patients and contact us all of the contact which has been submitted by a uh, patient or a donor will be displayed here right you can see so this was the uh, contact us which i have submitted right and then if you want to log out then you can log out from here right so this uh, uh, full applications we have developed inside this project which has admin panel as well as the mobile app right as i told you earlier this uh, mobile app is a pure uh, native android app which we have developed in uh, android studio using java and all of the api we have developed in php and mys well right admin app we have used html css and javascript for developing the admin app right so this is all over the projects so if you need enhancement if you need any uh, extra features in the project just put in into the comments we will incorporate those changes uh, we will make this project more better and better according to requirements right and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.